Alô? Uh, well, uh, the program, I, I plan some, uh, to present some open problems. And in reality, uh, Guilherme start to begin their, his open problem. And I will present another one. Uh, uh, of course, I will not spend one hour because my problem is no long, it's too short. And I apologize if I, my problem is short and long enough to spend one hour, okay? Uh, it's a, a experiment that I participate, uh, I think, two years ago. Uh, and it was a replicate experiment, and it was done conducted by an uh, engineering team. Uh, and the experiment, uh, it wants to simulate uh, a flight, a common flight. It's not a long flight, uh, not a commercial flight. So uh, then the, the phases of a, f a flight, you have the boarding phase, uh, when the, the people are coming, uh, the cruiser one, when, they begin, when the, the, f the trip, the, s the flight begins, and when after they serve some meal, uh, and after they have the cruisers, the last part of the, the trip. Uh, it, uh, this experiment, it was, we have uh, 32 runs, so they simulated 32 flights. Ta? And each flight, it, uh, it run, it lasts uh, at least two hours, so it's a long experiment. Uh, and uh, the aim of the experiment is to choose the configuration which provides the best response and the response here it's a rate of discomfort uh, and this rate is a measure from the interval 0 to 10 0 means no discomfort uh, that means very comfort very comfortable and 10 very discomfort so very uh, is not good and uh, we have a vector of the response collected during four times. Uh, the factors in these experiments, we have it, uh, temperature, loudness, luminosity at the different phases of uh, the, the flight. So the temperature will have four levels, loudness, four levels of the loudness. And the boarding phase, we have uh, two colors of the luminosity. And the cruisy one, we have four colors. Uh, they call cool colors, like white colors, a blue, uh, blue color. And when the meal phase, uh, the colors they call the hot colors, like uh, like red one, orange one. And the last phase we have the cruisy one is another uh, uh, set of colors. So we have co four colors here, four, four, two. All of the colors are different, except we have the white colors that come in, in all these phases. So I, I, I draw schematically the representation of the, of the experiments. The temperature at each flight, at each run, the temperature and the loudness is constant for the whole time. Okay? And uh, and the T0, the, the beginning of the experiments, at the board, at that time, they collected a rate of discomfort at uh, considering uh, this treatment, the temperature, loudness, and one color at the board and face. And after that, uh, another color is tested here, and is collected again, the discomfort rate, and so on. When served the meal, it's collected again, uh, the co another colorless test, and finally the cruiser to uh, another, and the T and the time before, uh, another rate of discomfort is collected. So the treatment uh, condition is changing along the time during the flight. Okay? So at each run, the level of the temperature and loudness are fixed for the 
whole run. And at each run, a level luminosity uh, board is chosen. The response Y1 is collected. Uh, similar for the another phases. Uh, cruiser one, we have another color. At that time, we have the mu phase, we have another color test. And uh, the end of the, the experiment, another color is tested. So uh, uh, they decided to, m to realize the 32 flights because at each, each flight spent um, at, at, at least two hours, uh, they take a long time to realize these experiments. And each flight, it's a group of people uh, simulate like a fly. So you have to uh, invite a group of people uh, balanced by female, or f female, male, uh, young, not uh, so uh, only young, but young and old uh, person. So uh, temperature, uh, these are the, they considered these five uh, factors as base one. Temperature, as we have uh, four levels, they consider as two, two level factors, A1, A2. Loudness is the similar. We have uh, four levels, and they consider as two uh, level factors. And luminosity, they have one, two levels, so one level is chosen to con uh, is considered as uh, the basic factors. And the other factors, the, the luminosity of the cruise one, mu, and cruise two, uh, the factors are aligned for uh, with the the earlier previous factors, so these are the the analysis uh, relation used to determine the the levels of the 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 <coughs> factors, and D1, D2, A1, A2, uh, and so on. So. The factors uh, D1, D2, A1, A2, F1, F2 are factors aligned with the second or third order interactions of the base factors. And I have calculated the, the world length pattern of uh, this experiment. So I have some questions. Uh, which kind of design is the executed one? Is a repeated mirror design? Is a crossover? Is fraction factor design? Is a mix of three kinds of these things? And uh, the problem, the open problems, you have many open problems. How analyze this data uh, from this design to get a configuration which provides the lowest discomfort? Are there alternative or better, alternative or better plans for this problem? Uh, which is the influence of the time in the response uh, could be used as split plot covariance structure for the vector of response? Uh, are there carryover effects of the luminosity among many phases of the flight? So this is uh, are the open questions. I would like to to listen from the audience or participants if you have some solution or naive social solution for this problem. Could you go back to the slide where you put the layout of the design? This one? Yes. So every time you have a different flight, the temperature is going to be different from the previous one. Yes. You have it also the loudness. Yes. So we have four levels of temperature, four levels of the loudness. You have uh, two lights here, four lights here, four lights, four lights, colors of lights. So in terms of temperature and loudness, it's going to be four different flights. No, 16. Ah, because of the number of levels. Yes. 16 different levels combining temperature and loudness. Is there 32? Yes, 32 flights. Well, the, the base pattern is the color in the origin, isn't it? 
Yes. Here. You said uh, the the passengers. It's two groups. That does this. I want to. No, it's a group of passengers, and everyone receive a, a, que a questionnaire and answer the rate of discomfort. But it's okay. a group. It's the like same group. No, no, no. It's different no, group. We have thirty-two group. different groups. Okay. Okay. Mm. In the first moment, I, I saw a, a fraction of a tutorial experiment in, in that first moment. Uh, but I guess there are some. I, I think I think that you could. I never saw this, but uh, we too. could try <laughs> tr try to to make a partial split plot. For for some of them, I I, I don't know. I, I have to. But the way you think, think about it, uh, responses, it could be like crossover. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's what you did on the drugs, right? I mean, you know, apply something and then wait and then apply something else in the crossover. It's not that you have to change the A, B, yeah. and B and A. Yeah, that's the task. That's the task. Yeah, it's but always yes, it's more. always. That's, that, that is the it's not hybrid experience because it has features of split plot, crossover. It's a mess, and it's not possible to uh, to make all combinations because you have many combinations. You have four colors here, two colors here, four and four. But uh, yeah, you have a saturated experiment in the base factors. Yes. And you yes. Yes. A fraction of factorial. From Even here. if you don't consider the yeah. the carryover effect, you have a fraction. If I consider uh, at each stage, yes. But if I consider, if I but if you I consider it's a complete mess. Yes. But what I want mm -hmm. is to specify which the best configuration for the whole flight. Could could you treat some factors as quantitative factors like temperature, loudness? And try to fit a polynomial model. Then, yes. so you, this 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 make at least for your base factors you have uh, you know. <laughs> you saying that heat, temperature, and loudness outside the, the, the design. No, you put in the design, but you treat them in the fitted model as a quantitative factor. Then you fit a polynomial. To yeah. But the loudness, I ha don't have the levels, it's qualitative levels. I have them uh, because they simulated the, the loudness like the common flights, like the, uh, uh, I don't remember the, the number, the, the name of some, some plane. Yes, I know, you, you set the loudness level. Yes, yes. But it is still uh, loudness level or some like decibels or whatever and then... No, I don't have. They call the, for example, loudness of the flight by Embraer. The loudness from the flight of the Boeing. Yeah, but they may know at least uh, an order. It's not just or can be measured, cannot? Yeah, yes. Uh, more or less, I, I, uh, I know uh, that, the, for example, Boeing and another plane, I don't remember the name, is they have similar levels of the loudness. They know that the <coughs> some one are more loud than another one.
um, seating configuration is going to come is confounded with the loudness if you define it by the aircraft, and that that will have an impact on how people interpret the impact of the loudness. I mean, if you're uncomfortable because of the fact you have too many neighbors, then you're going to be more sensitive to the noise than if you were in a more comfortable seat. So, I mean, I would fear that if it's defined by the type of the aircraft as the noise, it, it's, it's now lost any possibility to be quantitative. What it is is aircraft type, not true loudness. The, the factor would be aircraft type, not loudness. But now it, 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 it is a necessity capital. And that doesn't help us. <laughs> but at least temperature you can, you can treat yes, it that way. Yes, that's 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 Saturated design. You don't. I, I mean, you don't need to 
We maybe go to the second order at most, to quadratic at most. Right. This is separate, is it? This is this this yields this yields thirty two thirty two uh, columns so yeah x matrix. It's not separate. It's not separate. Yeah. Yeah. Well it depends on the model we try to estimate. Yeah. I have one hundred and twenty eight observations because I have thirty two in each flight, you have four observations. It, it was 32 runs, but at each run, I got four, a vector of four values of y. And each y, it collected for uh, uh, different condition. What's called the advanced factor of the one that were used to Generate the step. I mean, it is, it's been structured as a fractional factor.
structure and uh, loudness. And then C is a color? Yeah, the colors are C from C to F. That's a color. What kind of answer was asked from the person? What did they say about that? How kind of discomfort you yeah, feel? That's the answer they gave. Yes. For their condition, because every set of passengers is one flight, isn't it? So you have 32 sets of passengers, that's right? Yes, I have actually fly and collect four, uh, a vector of four answers.
example, uh, and when I fly, of course, in the beginning of the flight, I will not so comfortable. I, I will be more comfortable than in the end of the, the flight. Because, uh, uh, the, the, for example, it's a, a low temperature, constant, <coughs> it become more comfortable for me in the end of the flight. Although the, the conditions are constant, but in the end of the flight there will be more discomfort than beginning. So, uh, if you assume that CDF have no effect, absolutely not, right? and ABs might have some, so what you, would, you should observe then, why two, why two, why two, why three, why four? Let's say that they're flat, but from different levels of A and B, they're going to go up and down. So kind of, you're going to have the same discomfort or the same comfort for the same temperature and plane, right? That's maybe we can start from that. Does that make sense? Or let's say discomfort is always increasing, always increasing. So what's going to happen is the basically it's going to be shift shift in that structure if CDEF had no effect whatsoever. So you should, am I wrong? You should, you should observe exactly the same behavior. So we can just maybe forget about CDEF, but we have a 4 by 4 16 experiment. And look at the Y1, Y2, Y3, Y4 profiles. And if you, you're just having a bias going up and down, then uh, maybe that, it's done. at least that's the first start. And then, but if the structure changes, then it, it is because CDEF has that. Do you have the, 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 the design somewhere? Like, if you have like all six factors, A, B, C, D, F. We do it that way. Maybe, maybe there is that. So if we do A, B, C first, right? Analyze. Don't worry, don't worry about Y2, Y3, Y4. Do the analysis. And then you have one whole plot and one level of C, right? And then I'm trying to understand the design still. You have multiple levels for C for each combination of temperature and loudness. Or not? Well, let's go back to the data table real quick because take that first run. You know, so, yeah. C might be, let's just say <coughs> it's white in the first run. Yeah. Okay, we have C would be white, comma, we would have a discomfort. 
Yeah. In the, in the data table, not their front row, in your data table, in the matrix. Yeah. yeah. Go up to that first row. Yeah. Okay. Go over under C. Under C. Say, like, white. And then we've got a discomfort Yeah. Yeah, but the Y1 is immediately associated with C. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That we, we can ignore for the time being the DNF. Okay. So for the first full plot, but then I don't understand. For the, in, in my view, it's good plot, is that right? I, I should have another level for and C. For A, B, and C would be a regular? Not a regular? Full Yeah, that's, that's yeah. clear at this point. Yeah. Well, A was executed. The issue is what's really going on down within yeah. each of the whole block rows. Yeah. And by its structure, it was constructed as an old, almost like an overall fractional factor. Yeah. Yeah, but it still doesn't necessarily lend itself to split plot structure no. because, you know, I don't have multiple levels of C within within each A D combination. Right. Yeah. Which goes back to Suddenly, I'm thinking, Brad, this is a case where I'm happy to use jump. I mean, I have it on my computer. But then it goes back to what's the model that we would use that makes sense. Um, because, and again, we would not be able to take into account the crossover structure. There would be no way to do that. I think a more interesting question at this point is, you know, how could we have planned this experiment that, you know, what would be the things if we were, if, if, in hindsight, looking at this, mm -hmm. if we were talking with the, the airline, you know, what, what advice would we be giving the airline to try to elicit a better experimental design situation? You know, that might be more interesting at this point. I know, you know, we understand the, the motivation for this, and there is a way to analyze it. You know, but I think perhaps if we were to ask, given this scenario, what would be the best design? I, I think this is a case where the yes. optimal design would be a way to go. And I'm the most anti-optimal design guy in the room. That's the audience, but I'm close. <laughs> right? I'm real close. But are there ways we could have been clever to, mi to, to minimize this, this issue? Is that a fair question for people? Joe, you look like you're thinking. Yeah. No, but, uh, I really don't understand why you don't you know why you cannot keep louder than temperature as a program of structure and then go to something like that. Uh, uh, just uh, I agree wholeheartedly with you, but at that point then suddenly we never have four temperatures. We didn't know what temperature we Four was picked by the airline. Three would be yeah, a better number. Even if you have four levels. But why for a quantitative? Yeah. Because Particularly if you're trying to find a, an optimum. Three levels allows you to fit the curvature. No. I mean, if you have four levels, if you put in your, this is your, this is what your excellent, you're designing, it's not about the model, then you can fit sometimes, sometimes the middle one, sometimes the middle other, Okay, but imagine now we've got four aircraft and only three levels of temperature. Yes. See, that, that, yes. there, now you're getting my point. Yes. Now I could still have 32 runs, but yes. I could do experiment one, which might have 24 whole plots. It doesn't matter which aircraft come from the same center of that. Yes. Yes, now you're seeing my point. Is yes. Let's think about how we could take 32 runs and perhaps do a first experiment saving some runs to answer the follow-up questions. Yes. Now, the airline does not necessarily like that. This, again, the, the analysis would be within hours of completing the first experiment. Yes. And I'm sure that it would be the next day before they would do the next simulation. So that's why I say if we can go to the polynomial, yes. then suddenly there are avenues here that would help us. Uh, so that's the reason why I ask, is there a better way for us to step back and have a conversation with the airline? Uh, understanding that that is, we don't know their answers, but how, I, that, that would be the first thing that I would want to do. Yeah. Yeah, it seems arbitrary to have the four temperatures. 
do an overall app. Yeah. yeah and there is, like, a, you know, you can have an average of variance as two responses. That yeah, that could be very useful. Yeah. Um, like, an average of four responses and the variation of four responses. You can reduce it to two you know, gold measures of.
saying of them which are now running these things over and over again for different combinations of the rest. In the true whole plot, split plot, you know, structure, what would that give you? That would give you a better estimate for the other factors, more precise estimate. It's real hard to run, you know, C. Maybe white and orange. Exactly. Exactly. And if you use the same people again, yeah. then uh, there'll be a crossover effect that way as well. Yeah. Of it's going to be a weird thing. I mean, I learned now it's because yellow is not orange. It would be weird. That's what I'm saying. Maybe a split plus structure was not even possible. Per se. So it can't So this is like a 2 to the 11 minus 6. Oh, uh, yeah. So that's why people live in the front. Yeah. for the suggestion I am I don't know if I'm able, I'm able to summarize here because there are many suggestions and um, I think we may stop here if everyone agrees and um, we have some time to discuss another thing if someone has uh, another open problem to present I, it, it will be good if someone want to talk more. We have one hour. My my pro my open problem is that oh, we had an hour conversation yeah. What I would suggest is what the uh, original agenda was was just an opportunity to talk. And not necessarily sitting down, I think you know just an opportunity to have a conversation and interact. Yeah. Yes. If there was a place for beer I would suggest that. <laughs> <laughs> That's the perfect suggestion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We've had a long day, so I think this is going to be a good shot at that. So.
muita das ondas se passando para ele. Pensar, respirar fundo, ler de boa, 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 ler de
So I suppose we get and then just said uh, it could be better but I just have a sample to avoid the direct, you know direct and uh, aliasing of flights and levels of each of each factor. And then uh, well jump will find instead of sampling jump will find <laughs> a good location. And then the model is a polynomial model and the interaction of this polynomial model with the main effects, just the main effects, are just for carryover effect. Because yeah. I just showed Linda, and we didn't deal with the carryover effects, but I showed her what Jump would be doing in terms of how to create
tendency to forget what goes on when you start looking at degrees of freedom. So let me illustrate some basic ideas. So I've got the effect of A. And it has three degrees of freedom. But I can actually break that out into three separate terms. I can actually break it out into three orthogonal terms. That would be A, A squared, and A cubed. And they're legitimate interpretations because it's quantitative. So far, so good? Okay. Effective B. This is categorical, so I'll call it B. I mean, again, there are three levels, but it would be B times B, which I would just call B squared in quotation marks. Are we getting the idea? Because it's categorical. We've taken 9 plus 6, 15 degrees of freedom, and reduced it to 5. We can do the same things with other interactions. So, part of what Ludo was doing was taking advantage of that in creating this. Are we having a better sense of what's going on? Yeah, because people forget about this. It's real easy when you see an ANOVA model, okay? Oh, they're 9 degrees of freedom. But what's the interpretation of each one of those degrees of freedom? It's much easier for us to appreciate the interpretations when they're all quantitative. Okay? But there are similar kinds of interpretations when they are categorical. They are higher order effects, uh, which is why it's a real pain to fractionate the 3 to the k or anything higher. Uh, the Box Hunter and Hunter work back in the time that it was written was, you know, a good way of approaching this. But more and more, this is, you know, Murad and I both do not like optimal design, but this kind of situation happens a lot in military testing because you're dealing with categorical factors like terrain, okay, or uh, rain, okay? So they may have multiple levels. I think there's 17 words in Ireland to describe rain. That's 17 levels. Are we getting a picture on that? Okay. So the question then is they can't afford to do all of those combinations. 
So what would be an intelligent way to do that? That's one of the primary reasons why the U.S. military uses Jump, because they trust the algorithm within Jump to make an intelligent decision about the given the model. But when you give the model, what you're doing is define a order of terms, maximum order of terms. And it takes that into account. Does that help explain what's going on? Now, if you don't have, and Jump is a real good package for this, and it's the one I would trust. Minicab will not do this. FactX should do a good job with it. I've never used SAS FactX. When you say jump, I think maybe the other end of the thing is I don't think so. You know, they're written by different people. They have different philosophies as well. I mean, jump is by Ben Jones. FactX is by Randy Tobias. Do you know Randy? Yeah, I know Randy. So he has a philosophy, and then they are separate entities, as separate as they are very separate. They're not completely separate. Yeah. For example, I think the prop mix routine is what's being yeah. sucked into Jump. But I do know Brad Jones is in charge of wrote the original code. Chris Dolphite also is now doing it. And he, he's a Michigan guy. He actually went to Florida. I didn't know that. I, I forgot that. I'll him engineering statistics. Uh, I'll see Chris next week. But again, this is important when you start going into the software <laughs> to try to create these designs. Uh, and again, I get nervous about it, but this is a case because of the complexity that you know, I would begin to do. Barack, would you break yeah, down at this yeah. point? No, no, no. I mean, as what I don't like in general about optimal designs and uh, classical designs, people tend to get married to one and don't even say, oh, you know, like George Fox would do. Yeah. Uh, or, or the optimal design people. What's the point of that? I don't understand it. There's a perfect example here. Yeah, I'll just, yeah optimal design. So why you are so kind of holding on to something that you need to that it's not going to work out? Yeah. Okay. So I just thought it was important for, to help understand what Julio was talking about, what I've been trying to talk about, keeping ground and understand that you know this this is you're trusting the computer. You know, it is. And uh, Brad is using a variation of a the optimal criteria. Uh, and I, I've been on the record many times. It's my, not my first choice. Okay? But in some cases, it's the best choice. Yeah. It's for Gilbert is very fast to do yeah. the but we can. Oh, yeah. Whatever would be your favorite criteria. In New York, it was very fast. We really need to five minutes or something like that. One less. <laughs> but you can do it with all the art or something like that. Yeah. Jump would also, Brad, well, uh, Doug Montgomery, for a long time, he hated optimal designs. Okay? But then Jump bought it. Okay? It's yeah. fun with Doug. Yeah. Yeah. He'll admit it, too. Brad, he and Brad would teach short courses in a beautiful winery. And, uh, it, it was fine. Fly into California and, and do that stuff. It was great. He loved it. So Doug has become much more amenable to optimal designs. What they like are the uh, integrated variants criteria, which would be much slower. Uh, but that would be for gold prediction. Uh, and often it's similar to the DNI level. And you've expected to be similar to the D because of the D and the G relationship. Uh, G is looking at the maximum prediction variance. The integrated variance is more like the average variance of the prediction form region. So those would be options for it. Not often I would recommend it, okay, but I'm hoping that you have some grounding what would be the rationale and how it goes through that. We also Talking about here will help her analyze what she's given. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
but we just had to make sure that the component parts here are not already in A and A things. So that's the reason why I wanted to make sure that, and I gave you the, the, I think I gave you the name. Oh, here it is. You can have that. They don't help me. You can buy it. You can throw it away <laughs> as well. I don't care. It doesn't bother me one way or the other. <laughs> My wife usually ignores me anyway. She has a master's in statistics. Yeah, she just rolls her eyes. But, but this becomes the key for trying to analyze what's there, what terms you could do. And just try to make sense then why these higher order terms are could be ignored. Uh, I just had to go through this because I've recorded some lectures on experimental design for the, we use them at Virginia Tech. But uh, the Air Force Institute of Technology also uses it. And there's no way in God's green earth I would ever teach the three to the K factor. Okay? But they want that at the Air Force. <laughs> so I had to go through this explanation for the three Q. You know, what are the real limitations for it? And are there better ways to approach the problem? Okay, so again, I just thought this might be helpful.